Hello, Remote Pilot 101 and M0A Nation. Do you know what a lance is and how it works? Welcome back, Remote Pilot 101 and M0A Nation. It's Matthew and Kat here, and today we're going to dive into how FAA's low altitude authorization and notification capability or LANCE works, and how it's different from a waiver. You know that flying in controlled airspace can be tricky, but thanks to LANCE, getting approval to fly in those airspace zones is easier than ever. So first, let's clear up something important. What's the difference between a waiver and an airspace authorization? A waiver is an official document from the FAA that allows you to operate your drone outside of the standard rules set in Part 107. Just like we touched on in our last video, if you want to fly over people or at night, you need a waiver. It's a more involved process, and you'll need to apply for it at least 90 days before your planned flight. But if you just want to fly in a controlled airspace, that's where the airspace authorization comes in. This is a much quicker process that lets you fly your drone in airspace near airports, specifically below 400 feet and you can get approved almost instantly with the LANCE system. It's an FAA system that allows Part 107 pilots to request airspace authorization quickly and easily. The best part? LANCE gives you real-time access to controlled airspace so you can fly your drone without worrying about or conflicting with manned aircraft. LANCE provides a few key things. It lets you fly at or below 400 feet in controlled airspace around airports. You'll be able to see where you can and cannot fly, you can check your flight path against the UAS facility map. It also provides updates on temporary flight restrictions or TFRs and special use airspace schedules. So who needs an airspace authorization? If you're a drone pilot planning to fly in controlled airspace, meaning near airports, you will need this authorization. And if you're flying below 400 feet, Lance is the perfect way to get it. But if you want to fly above 400 feet, that's a whole different process and you'll need to go through the FAA with a further coordination request. But don't worry, we're talking about below 400 feet today. Now, the great news is that you can receive airspace authorization almost instantly through Lance. There are over 700 airports where you can get quick approval and you can find a list of these locations on the FAA's website. Here's how to get started with Lance. First, choose an app that supports Lance. Some popular ones are Aloft and Autopilot. If you haven't already, create an account with the app. Enter your planned flight route and make sure your entire route is covered by Lance. Once your route is in, you'll request authorization. The app will send your request through the FAA's UAS data exchange and it will be checked against the TFRs, NOTAMs, and facility maps. If everything checks out, you'll receive your airspace authorization almost instantly. And that's it. Lance makes getting airspace authorization fast and simple. It's a great tool for any drone pilot who wants to fly in controlled airspace, and with it, you can fly safely and legally. Want to learn more about becoming a drone pilot? Check out our Remote Pilot 101 course, which offers everything you need to know to pass your Part 107 written test.